Okay, so moving on, it goes on to say format the cost worksheet so that currency value show the currency symbol, the pound symbol with two decimal places. Okay, so when we come to our uh, worksheet, courses worksheet, wherever there are currency values, we have to make it with the currency symbol. So you can select these values and you can right click, you can come to format cells and say you want number. Okay, and you can come to currency and you can from over here select the pound symbol. So you'll have to scroll down a little bit and uh, take the pound symbol okay this is one way of doing it there is also an easier way to do it i'll show that as well okay and they told us it has to be into two decimal places so we'll keep it at two decimal places and say okay okay another way to make it a currency value is now for example if you take the open water venue fee the tank fee and the total cost these are all currency values right you can also come and click over here can you see over here click on here take the pound symbol this is very much more easier okay and if you want to increase or decrease the decimal you can click over here so this is to decrease increase the decimal point and this is to decrease so right now it's appearing with two decimal points so that's correct no need to uh, change anything as such okay then the question paper says headings are wrapped to use the space efficiently so headings are wrapped meaning you see for example this column uh, you can have this text inside two lines inside one cell let me show you so for example i can make this smaller and uh, what i can do is cost reference i can click on wrap text so it will go on to the next line inside the same cell so wrap text you'll have to make this a little bigger okay this is what we call wrap text so we can make this also smaller discount can be made smaller too cost with discount can be made smaller too wrap text or oh, this is also a currency value right so let's make this a currency value okay days in open water venue we can make that also wrap text this also we can make it wrap text this also we can make it wrap text uh, this has to let's make it slightly bigger tank fee tank fee you can see this this means the space is not enough let's make it slightly bigger this too we can make it smaller let's make it slightly bigger okay that's good then the question goes on to say all data is visible so just zoom out and see is all your data visible is uh, for example this not visible so let's make this slightly bigger now it's visible okay so all the data is properly visible then the question goes on to say the grid lines and page footer are displayed when printed okay so grid lines are these lines which we haven't put borders for okay these lines which we haven't put borders for these are what we call grid lines so normally they do not appear in our printout let me show you when i come to control p can you see those lines haven't appeared okay those are what we call grid lines so in our past paper they have told that it should be visible so to make those grid lines visible you have to come to page layout and you have to say grid lines to be printed okay tick this box which means print the grid lines now come and check your printout can you see those grid lines are visible now okay just keep that in mind then the question goes on to say save the spreadsheet uh, as uh, task b1 so you can come here you can say file save as shortcut key is f12 okay and make this task b1 and say save make sure you have saved in the correct folder and then coming back to the question it says print the cost worksheet in landscape showing the values on one a on one side of a4 so this needs to fit one a4 paper okay and we need to be showing the values so these are the values the values are visible so you can come to control p check is it fitting one a4 paper yes it's fitting one a4 paper it's if it is not fitting one a4 paper ensure that you make the column smaller so that it fits one a4 paper okay or else if you want you can make the margins also narrower so that you will have more space for printing okay but ensure that it fits one a4 paper okay the next thing that they are telling us to do is uh, display the formula view and ensure all functions and formula are displayed without truncation and will print on no more than three sides of a4 so now i have to take a printout of it in formula view so how do we go into formula view we come to formulas and we say show formulas okay now you can see the columns got very much more bigger okay so i want to auto adjust the columns okay so what i do is i come and click over here 
I come and click over here can you see where I click when I click this all the cells get selected now I just go and double click on one of the cells I go and double click on the width of one of the columns it will auto adjust all the other columns okay watch this how it happens let me double click now can you see all the other columns auto fit okay but my question paper specifically told me it has to fit maximum three papers no more than three so let's see is this going to more than three pages or not let's come to print preview it is inside two pages so that's good for me it's inside two pages that's good for you if it is going to more than three pages you will have to manually adjust the columns until it fits inside two pa uh, three pages okay then the question paper goes on to say so you have to take two printouts okay one in function in function view sorry uh, sorry print the cost worksheet in landscape showing the function and formula so for this activity you will have uh, two printouts one is showing the values and the other one showing the functions and formula so that brings the end to task b1 next we move on to task b2 where it says simon needs to know how many kit bags to order filter the cost worksheet to show the courses where free kit bags are offered okay so now what i need to do is now i'm going to go back into normal view so I'm going to come to formulas and say switch off this click again it goes back to normal now the columns are too small so now what I can do is again I can come and click on this button which will select all the cells and then just come and double click on one of your columns they will all auto adjust okay now what I need to do is I only need to show the rows that have this free kit bag in it so what I can do is I can use something called a filter a filter will allow you to temporarily hide data that you do not want to see based on a certain condition okay so look what I do I come to this heading okay the column label and I come to the home tab I come to sort and filter and I say I want to apply a filter so when I click can you see these uh, white color boxes have appeared these are all filters allowing me to choose what type of data I want so I very simply come to the notes filter and I tell I don't want all the data I just want the free kit bag data to be visible I want only those rows visible and I click on OK now can you see the rest of the data has been hidden only free kit bag is visible okay if you want to go back if you want all your data to be displayed you can just click on this and say show all now everything is visible if you want only free kit bag to be visible unselect click on only this and say ok ok then it says uh, save the spreadsheet as task b2 print the cost worksheet showing the values so let's save this as task b2 you can press f12 ok so when you press f12 it goes to save as and you can say task b2 click on save okay so now this has also been saved if you have a printer you can try taking a printout as well okay the next question goes on to say task b3 open a new word processing document enter, enter these details in the header save the document as task b3 let's get started with that right click uh, new word document uh, task b3 let's open it and let's go to the foot header double click on the header task b3 your name your candidate number and your center number excellent uh, then the question paper goes on to say Simon wants you to create a chart to display the discount offered for each cost reference use the details worksheet to create a suitable chart the chart must be fit for purpose have suitable title and values okay so he wants to create a chart to display the discount offered for each cost reference so we have to use the details worksheet so let's come to the details worksheet let's select the cost reference and let's select the discount okay these are the only two things that I want to show on my chart isn't it that's what the question paper told us now create a chart to show the cost reference and the discount for each cost reference okay so how do I select this value I selected this column with the mouse then I press control I'm holding on to the control key and now I'm selecting the discount values okay if you want to select non consecutive values you have to press on you have to press the control key okay let's do it again select this now I'm pressing control while holding control I'm selecting the discount values okay then I come to insert and I come to recommended charts now the past paper did not tell me what type of a chart to create right they said suitable chart so let me ask the computer what would be a suitable chart so this first one looks quite good it makes sense okay easy to understand let's go with the first one itself okay 
now don't forget they have also told you it should have a suitable title it should have values in it okay so you can double click over here and say uh, discount for each cost reference okay discount for each cost reference if you want you can make this bold underlined control b control u further you should label your axis axis label should be visible so you can click on this plus symbol and you can say axis titles so you can name this as uh, cost reference and over here you can say discount okay if you want you can also show the values you can come and say data labels so you can see the values visible for each column okay uh, then the past paper goes on to say save the spreadsheet as chart okay so let's save this let's press f12 and save it as chart there you go that's also done and then it says paste the chart into doc task b3 make sure the chart is easy to read so let's do that let's right click copy let's come to microsoft word and let's say paste let's go with the first option okay so it's quite visible if you zoom out also you can see the entire chart is visible okay uh, then the next thing that the question pa past paper says is uh, task b3b use the cost worksheet to display only the data for course title total cost and notes okay so using the cost worksheet i have to only display three columns okay so what are those three columns uh, course title total cost and names okay so course title total cost and notes isn't it yeah so basically these columns i don't need sorry these columns i don't need so i can select those columns i can right click sorry wait, i did not work let's right click here right click here and say hide okay so now those columns have been hidden can you see they are hidden okay if you want to unhide them you can manually come and click here can you see where my cursor is just double click one by one each of them will appear okay for now let's hide them right click and say hide so those columns are hidden now what do i do uh, save the spreadsheet as task b3b so again f12 for save as task b3b task b3b save that as well and then the question goes on to say take a screenshot uh, paste a screenshot okay let's take a screenshot of this so print screen and uh, let's come over here and let's paste it okay so there you go the screenshot has also been pasted then the question paper goes on to say answer these questions on the document task b3 in the details worksheet cells a2 to c7 are named are a named range courses okay so let me show that to you a2 to c7 so guys if you are look at this can you see this particular range has been given a a2 to c7 can you see this particular range has been given a name called courses normally when you want to refer to a range we say a2 colon c7 isn't it that's how we normally we refer to a range but if you want you can also give a name to a range say for example you want to give a name to this range you simply select the range you right click and say define name so now you can give a name for this range and next time if you want to refer to this range you simply have to type the name you don't have to type the cell address okay so that's what you called a named range okay so here they are asking explain one advantage of using name ranges in a spreadsheet so you can simply say remembering and sorry remembering a named range is much easier than remembering a cell and remembering cell addresses isn't it so when it comes to a name range referring to that is easier isn't it you can remember names remembering cell addresses can be a little difficult okay so this is one advantage the next question is asking explain one advantage of using lookup tables in a spreadsheet so if you remember we used vlookup where we took values from a different worksheet and did calculations right so they're asking one advantage for it now if we did not have this lookup function as such with us what would happen is we will have to have all our data in one worksheet okay but since we have this lookup function we can take values from different worksheets and carry out calculations isn't it so you can say uh, the lookup function allows the user to store values 
in various worksheets okay and refer to them whenever needed okay without lookup without lookup the user may have to save all his values in one worksheet thus causing the worksheet to be disorganized okay so imagine if you had to have all your data in one worksheet it's definitely going to be a mess okay searching for data finding data arranging the data is going to be a mess but since we have something called lookup you can have it in various worksheets and then you can simply refer to it okay just like how we did in this past paper okay uh, with that it says save task b3 and then it tells you to print past task b3 okay and with that we have come to the end of the spreadsheet question okay so thereafter we just have one more question to go which is the presentation okay we just have one more and then we are done with the paper so you're almost there okay don't give up uh, we just have one more activity to go thereafter okay see you in the next video